All right, welcome back. Time right now is 9-11. Before Simone Biles and Gabby Douglas, there was a Silver Spring young lady, <laughs> a native by the name of Dominique Dawes. In 1996, Dawes became the first African-American to win an individual Olympic medal in women's gymnastics and the first to win a gold medal in the team event. And the three-time Olympian is still making strides in the sport. In fact, Dominique Dawes is set to open her first gymnastics academy in Clarksburg, Maryland in the spring. Coming soon. This morning, she is live in the loft. Good morning to you. We saw the information right there on the screen. Good to see you. Thank you for having also, me. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh, well, yeah, well, <laughs> you're not married to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enough said, enough said. Uh, let's, let's talk about uh, your, your facility first in Clarksburg. Yes. You're opening up in Clarksburg uh, at some point during the spring. Yes. Why Clarksburg and why now? Well, first, it's going to be the Dominique Dawes Gymnastics Academy. And I will say I never thought I would be embarking upon this journey at 43 years old, married um, a mother of four young kids. However, I am so passionate still about the sport of gymnastics. And I want to build that healthy culture in the sport that I know is possible. And I am so excited to bring on board compassionate coaches, positive coaches, and coaches that are truly going to teach each and every one of those young kids that walk through the doors as if it's their own kid. Right. Um, you know, I chose Clarksburg. I looked in different areas in Montgomery mm -hmm. County. I am a Montgomery County girl. <laughs> right. uh, was just inducted into the inaugural um, Sports Hall of Fame right. in Montgomery County. And I knew I wanted to start my first facility in this area. I looked in other areas, but I will say when I drove up 270 and got off exit 18 and drove into <laughs> Clarksburg, I uh -huh. knew this was the community for me. Right. And so far I've met hundreds of families in the area. They have embraced this, this uh, academy that I'm going to be building. Mm -hmm. And I'm super excited to say that I've already got um, over 100 people that are signed wow. up before the class schedule is out there. So right. I'm excited. So you're doing big things. Big well, things. I, I'm, I'm looking to leave a lasting legacy beyond mm -hmm. just being an athlete, right. um, about being a gym owner and planting those positive seeds in the lives of these young kids that want to either be introduced to the sport of gymnastics in a healthy environment, or if you're a competitive level gymnast, we're interested in you too, because we know you need a healthy, empowering environment. Now, as far as you're concerned, uh, from the time that you were in the Olympics and yeah. getting gold medals- Back to, in the 90s. Back, back in the <laughs> 90s, to now, um, have you seen a, a change, or have you seen uh, anything, a, a drop off, or anything like that, that made you say, okay, this is the time I need to do this? Read what Simone Biles has been uh, tweeting. Mm -hmm. Read what Simone Biles has been posting on social media. She has been such a strong advocate now, speaking out about how she feels about the sport or how she feels about USA Gymnastics and what they did in response to the Larry Nassar scandal that came out in 2016. Mm -hmm. And I was one of those athletes that worked, for, worked with him for much of my career. And she has made it very clear that they need to do more and they need to make some changes. Mm -hmm. So she's the strongest voice right now in the sport of gymnastics. And I just want to kind of bring that to light so that people know um, that the best of the best out there is right. not on board with what's, being, what's, be, what's going on, right. which is why I am so passionate and so um, empowered to do what I'm doing now to be to build this healthy gymnastics community that we so need right uh, You talked about that Larry the whole thing with Larry Nassar and the negativity surrounding it mm -hmm. Do you think that that hurt the sport at the uh, at the time that all that was going on when it should have been a time when you know Simone Biles and Gabby Douglas and everybody is is exploding onto the yeah. scene and then Larry Nassar the things about him comes out and then it's all it's a whole bunch of negative talk you think that actually hurt the sport? I think it helps the sport because it really shines the light on the truth that is out there in the sport. The culture has been very unhealthy when it gets to the higher level gymnasts. Uh, back in the day, if you felt uncomfortable about a situation or you felt uneasy or you felt very fearful or anxiety, you did not have the comfortable environment to really speak out and speak your mind. Uh, you knew that if you did say something, that it was such a subjective sport, it was so political um, that you would then be removed from a team. You would not qualify onto a team. So I think it's wonderful that everything has come to light. I'm number one. I'm very thankful that that monster is in jail for the rest of his life, um, that the survivors are speaking out and sharing their stories, and that those that have gone through emotional, physical, and also verbal abuse are able to speak out. And that's really why I'm building this academy. When people have asked me for so many decades if I would ever put my children in the sport of gymnastics, I would always say on stage or on TV, absolutely not. I said it was the environment for me 
but I knew that was not the environment I wanted for my children. Now, as a mother of four, I still have a deep love and passion for the sport, and I know it can be done in a positive environment, which is why I'm building the Dominique Dawes Gymnastics Academies. It's not gonna just be this one in Clarksburg. I'm gonna start in Clarksburg, right. and I'm gonna move throughout Montgomery County because okay. Montgomery County has been so supportive of me throughout my career, and this is my way of giving back to the Montgomery County area. Okay, all right, so if people want more information, where do they need to go? Uh, they, they go to the longest website in the world, which is <laughs> DominiqueDodgeGymnasticsAcademy.com. You can get more information about my academy. You can sign up now for our early bird membership specials that are on sale. Um, you can also email us at info at DominiqueDodgeGymnasticsAcademy.com. All right. Clarksburg, but when is it going to, you have any idea when it might be open, opening? Well, I keep I know saying you, you're not doing spring. It. You're not doing the construction. I know you don't do construction. No, I'm going through the construction. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to be meeting with a contractor. Okay. We're moving along in permitting. I've been told that we're almost fully approved for permitting. Okay. And so things are going to be on the horizon, and I'm looking forward to offering amazing classes from preschool, rec, special ability classes, homeschool programs, summer camps. Parents, go to my website, and you'll get all the information there. Okay. The one and only Dominique Dawes visiting us here in the law. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for All having right. me.